Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over the EDC bag that I carry during the summertime around town. It's a simple bag, not too many items inside, and it's an older bag. It's a Camelback Mule NV 2012 model edition. Let's have a look at the front here. You can see there's several pockets here and here, and one up here, and another pocket, a main pouch pocket up in the top here. So it has several compartments for housing your items. At the bottom, we can see that it has a rainfly zip where you can cover up the pack uh, entirely with the rain cover so you can keep it from getting wet. Uh, this is the side of the pack. And this is the back of the pack here. We have a grab handle here. I have some S-Binder and small clips on the, on the top to use. We have an air system here. It's a comfortable back mesh panel. And then we have two belts on the side here, or rather one whole belt that's connected by this clip here for your waist belt. And we have a chest stern strap belt as well, which comes in handy for securing the bag on your persons. Uh, I find this bag very comfortable. It's easily my favorite uh, out of the small day hiking type backpacks that are out there. I've had it for eight years. It's got a lot of wear and tear on it, but it still holds up true. Let's go over the uh, pouches inside when I keep. The front pouch, I can keep a wall in here, although I don't always keep it in this front pouch because it's not uh, secure against thieves and whatnot, but you can see the pouch here. So that's perfect for keeping small items like maybe uh, some hand sanitizer or whatever. Uh, we have a bigger pouch which opens up in a clamshell formation. I'm a big fan of that kind of opening. So as you can see, I have some gloves, I have a handkerchief in here, I have a pen, and I have some hand sanitizer. And as you can see, it's got a mesh pocket for items. It's got a key holder, which holds my Leatherman style CS. So the versatile little uh, backpack, uh, I don't think they make this type of model anymore with Camelback, maybe they do. It certainly changed throughout the years. Uh, this one has fit the best on my back and uh, feels the most comfortable out of the ones that I've tried out uh, in the past few years. So I tend to stick with what works. So that is the secondary pocket, small pocket on the uh, Camelback Mule NV 2012. Uh, next we have an open outside pouch which extends with the elastic here. I keep several items here sometimes, not always in the same configuration, but I do keep some type of water bottle, water container. This is just a Camelback chute insulated canteen. I have my EDC bag. And that's the uh, VanQuest FTAM Generation 2 organizer and it has a whole bunch of items in it. I've done a separate video on that, but we're not going to go over that today, just what I carry in this bag. And there's the bottle. And then I don't always carry this, but today's configuration, I had a Yesu FTXD, 1XD. This is a dual band APRS radio and uh, functions quite well. It's got the stock antenna on it. And that's it for the main uh, outside pouch that extends out. As you can see, it gets pretty big for a helmet to fit in there. Uh, I believe they designed this for a bike riding pack or cycling pack. So that was their idea in mind uh, when they designed it. I think I remember seeing a couple commercials with. Um, dirt bike riders with it, or not dirt bike, but uh, trail, trail cycling, or trail biking, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's another pocket here uh, in the front, the smaller pocket where I keep my keys sometimes, usually my keys, and a small lighter inside. So, put that on the side there. And uh, finally we get into the main pocket here, which I usually house with a jacket of some sort, raincoat or just a windbreaker or combination. This is an Umbro windbreaker. I'm a big fan of Umbro, so got to have something Umbro on me. And then further into the pouch, it opens almost in, in a full clamshell format, which is kind of nice. I have my EDC headlamp. This is the uh, Olate Nova H2R and the associated charging cable with it. So this is a good head headlamp last quite a long time on an 18650 battery. So I keep that in there. 
and that's it for the main pouch in the bag here. Um, it does come with a bladder. I keep the bladder with the system here. It opens up fully, or almost fully. And we have a, uh, a three liter reservoir in here. And then I also keep a water filter. This is a uh, inline water filter. Uh, it's a military one. I forget what, what it's called. I have to look it up. But I think it goes down to 0.1 microns. So it's designed to work with the bladder inside here. Uh, I do have a secondary backup water filter in here. And like I said, I did a review with this one uh, a few days ago, so you can check that out. So that is my uh, EDC bag. It's fairly simple. Uh, I, I leave it open to conf different configurations, um, you know, for the different types of activities I might be doing around town. Uh, thanks for watching.